Okay, uh, this is a tutorial for StarCraft II, uh, the Galaxy Editor. Uh, this is for Galaxy Editor uh, version 1.0.3, uh, just in case this doesn't get updated and it's not working for some reason. Uh, what we're going to do in this uh, this tutorial is we're going to spawn uh, two sets of units, one at each, uh, one at, at one point and one at another, and then we're going to make uh, some units at one point run to the other point and attack those units. Uh, the first thing we're going to do here is, as you see, I don't have a map up. We're going to create a new map. Just push new. I always go to custom and just press OK. Uh, from here, I wanted a pretty small map because we're not doing too much. So I'll actually change this to 64 by 64 and I'll press OK. Okay, now we have our map created. Uh, we're going to make two points on the map. So I'll go to this po uh, points command right here, which is this button or P. And I'll make one in the bottom left hand corner. And there's point one. I'm actually going to name it point A. The next one we'll make in the top right hand corner. And we'll call it point B. All right, we have our two points made. Everything else we're going to do is actually inside the triggers editor. So click that button. Just because you missed it, it's this button right here, or F6. It'll bring up the triggers. Okay. When uh, the map is created, it's automatically by default created with this. And uh, what we're going to do here is I'm just going to delete that out of there, and we're going to create a new one altogether. And over here you see new trigger, Control T. I'm going to leave it as a de its default name. Uh, first thing you've got to do is an event. Uh, for the event, we want this to be on the map startup. Uh, so what we'll do here is you go to game, and how I did that is I, you can double click on events, or you can come over here, and the flag, that's a new event. Game, map initial initialization is what we want click that, press OK. Alright, so when the game starts up, this trigger is going to run. Alright, uh, next thing we're going to do is we're going to spawn a group of units at each point. Uh, to do that, we need to create a unit group with a local variable. I'm sure there's other ways to do this, but uh, this is the way I've been doing it so far. Down here you see local variable. If you right click on it, go to new and then variable or control B. And I'm actually going to rename this variable uh, unit group A. Alright. If you have the variable, uh, the one we just created, unit group A, we don't want it to be an integer. What we want it to be, down here on top, if you click it, scroll all the way down, we want it to be a unit group. <clears throat> we want that unit group to be empty, and that's the way it becomes default, so we're good. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to create a trigger with an action that will repeat a set amount of times. All right, we've already created our trigger. Now we got to add the action. Uh, you can either double click on action or over here at uh, new action, control R. All right, and we want to add something uh, something that repeats a set amount of times. So I just type repeat, and if you spell it right, and there it is. We don't want to repeat forever. We want to repeat press OK and if you notice we have a general repeat actions and it's default to 10 times well we want this to run 100 times because we're going to create 100 units with this okay okay we got that now we're going to spawn 100 units for uh, point A alright on actions we're going to create a new action underneath this uh, repeat and what we're going to do is we're going to go down to unit and we're going to create a unit with a default facing. Okay, have that highlighted, create one unit. Well, well now we got to pick that unit, so just click on unit. And I want these to be zerglings, so I'm going to go down, pick zerg, scroll all the way down to the bottom, there's zerglings. Press OK. And I want this to be for player one because that's who you will be when you test the map. 
uh, at point. Click on point, and we want them to spawn at point A. And that's all you got to worry about with that. Okay. We want to add those 100 units to a unit group. That's the unit group we made with the local variable, which is right here. And we want to add these 100 units to, uh, to it as they're made. Um, I'm not sure. It, I know you can spawn all 100 units at the, at the uh, same time just by changing this number. Uh, but I don't know how to, to add those 100 units when they're all spawned at the same time to a unit group. So the way I know how to do it is to spawn them one at a time using this repeat. And as you spawn them, you want to create a new action. Okay. And we want to go to unit group right here. And we want to add unit to unit group. Press OK. All right. And down here, we want to click on triggering unit because we don't want that. And we want to go to last created unit. Click OK. And we want to add it to unit group. Well, it's not a value. We created a variable. So click on variable and you should see your unit group underneath there. Unit group A. And click OK. Now for every time this runs, you can create one zircling. Add that zircling to the unit group. And then go through real fast and create the other 99 and add those also. So it'll it'll create and fill our unit group for us and it'll, it'll do it almost instantaneously you won't notice uh, notice any time lapse in there okay next is we want to uh, uh, spawn some units for group uh, point B I'm gonna spawn 25 and I think I'm gonna spawn Marines you wanna make sure you don't put this underneath this repeat or you're gonna repeat 25 <laughs> A marine spawning 100 times and that's going to be uh, about 2,500 marines so you don't want that uh, what you can do is it doesn't really matter if it's before this or not so you can click on this action create new action and go down unit and again we want to create units with default facing uh, and we want to do this create one well, we want 25 so create 25 and for unit well, I'm going to create Marines, so I'm going to change this to Terran. And then I'm going to search for Marines here. It's right there. Okay, now we want this for a different player, so I'm going to put player 2. Oops, player 2. And we want these to spawn at point B. Okay, now it's going to create our 25 Marines for us. Uh, if you wanted this, since it's the second thing we've done to be below this repeat we have, the easiest way to do that is to grab the repeat and move it. If you grab the unit uh, for creating 25 marines and drag it below here, it's liable to just add it to your repeat for you. So grab the repeat, move it up. That's the easiest way to do that. All right. Next is we're going to make those. We're going to make sure that those two uh, groups of units we made are hostile towards each other. We don't want one running over there and find out they're friends. So we're going to make sure they're hostile. And just click on. Uh, this last one we made here and new action okay and we're gonna go down to player because we made the 100 zergling spawn for player 1 the one uh, 25 marines spawn for player 2 so we're gonna go down to player set alliances and we're gonna make player 1 and player 2 treat each other as well this is the only thing that's incorrect in this statement is we don't want them to be allies with shared vision. We want them to be enemies so just click on it and then click enemy and OK. Alright and next and last thing is we want to make the units at one point attack the group at the other point. Alright so you come up here just make sure that's highlighted come up here new action and what we want to do is we want to come over here and scroll on this bar you want to go to issue and there it is, issue order to unit group and press OK. OK, order all units in unit group. Well, we got to pick a unit group, so click on that. And remember, ours is a variable, and there it is, unit group A. All right, if you just click on this next one, ability command, now, there's attack, that's what we want, but there's nothing listed. Uh, well, the reason is, is if you notice that this parentheses right here, bracket, uh, is black. This one over here is blue. 
which means we can click on it. So click on that, and what this means is it's set to order with no target. Well, we want to target something. So we're going to target a point. So change that. And if you notice, it's just going to add the word targeting in here and a point for us. Now click on the ability command, and there's attack right there. Choose attack. There you go. And we want these uh, unit group A, since they're point A, we want them to attack point B. So click point B. And if you replace existing orders, if you were to have these doing something else, you could make it do it, make these uh, units do this before or after those orders you already have them doing. Well, we would just want to replace anything out there because we want them to do it right now. All right, and that's all we got to do. You can close down the triggers editor, and we're right here at the the main editor again, and just come up here and test document. Click that. It's gonna load up for us. And there's our Zergling running over to 25 Marines. And we started off with 100 Zergling versus 25 Marines. At the end of the battle, we have no Marines and 59 Zergling left. Okay, well, uh, I hope that tutorial was helpful and uh, any feedback uh, th things I could do better in creating this uh, uh, this exact same thing happened but in easier than what I did would be great uh, questions I'll try to get around to those uh, I don't know a lot about the editor I'm still learning myself so uh, if you think there's something I might know you can uh, ask if so I'll try to do a tutorial on it uh, but if not, then I will move on to the next thing. Uh, uh, I'll learn really good, and I'll make a tutorial over it. Alright, thanks everyone. Um, Y'all have a good day.